Well, good morning. Um, this morning, I want to be in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and we're going to look at verses uh, from verse 7. And it says this, it says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what has been written, I believed, and so I spoke, we also believed, and so we, we also speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that the grace extends more and more people it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. And this is really important. He says, So do not lose heart, or so we do not lose heart. Though our outward self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. And I want to skip over into uh, chapter 5, and he says this, For we know that if the tent that is our earthly home is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling. If indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked, for while we are still in this tent we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared for us this very thing, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that for we are at home, we are in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and home with the Lord. So whether we are home or away, we make it our aim to please Him, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what He has done in the body, whether good or evil. Um, now, I, I know that's a long scripture, but I think it's really important that we understand what Paul is saying here is, is um, we are going to have hard experiences in this life. Um, you've been through them, I've been through them. Um, I got some friends that are going through some really, really hard things right now. And I just want to encourage them and all you that are watching that no matter what you are going through no matter how painful it is no matter how hurtful um and 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 we we look for explanations in our pain and try to make sense and that's only natural um but god sees everything that's going on and he agrees with us and these afflictions that we have in our lives um, Jesus said we're going to have trouble in this life. It's not going to go exactly the way we want it to go sometimes, but he also brings blessing, and sometimes it's for a short time. But ultimately, we're all going to be with the Lord, and we're going to be re reunited with those uh, of our loved ones that are with the Lord. And and so he, Paul here paints a, a picture of the future. Um, and And so right now, just hear my heart um, that whatever you're experiencing or whatever you've been going through, especially those of you that through this quarantine, it, it, it's been hard. It's been a struggle. Um, and, and I've seen people um, even lose loved ones, uh, several uh, instances I know over this time, and it's just, it compounds it. And so I, I, this verse was just brought to my mind this morning um, about, you know, how it seems, you know, we're crushed, we're perplexed, you know, we're pressed in, it seems, on every side. And we go, God, what's going on? But don't lose heart that God sees, he knows everything that's going on. We might not have an explanation, but we hang on to him.
because once we are gone from this world, we're with the Lord. And and when those that we love are gone from this world, they're with the Lord, you know, um, especially the young ones. You know, I, I, I love you guys so much. And my heart hurts, you know, as, as your shepherd, as you're going through these things. Um, and and I, I, I just want to encourage you this morning in that. Um, that uh, I, I know that I don't just talk about words of comfort, there's words of correction and all those. There's a lot of different teachings, but I think that a lot of you guys just need to know that God is in charge and that um, uh, whatever you're experiencing right now, that there is an overarching plan. And, that, and I know Paul says these are light and momentary afflictions, and that's kind of, um, he's not making light of our hardships and our pains. I mean, he was one who was beaten and left for dead um, uh, and, and just endured incredible persecution and eventually execution. And what he's saying there is is that um, that even with all that stuff, you know, even with all the things that we're experiencing and the pains and the things that we even hold inside of us and process through God is there in the midst right with us right with you right now and so I just want to pray a, a short prayer with you would you join me Lord Jesus I just come before you and I lift up those of my friends right now that are going through a very difficult time Lord and and anyone who's listening even those that, that I might not be aware of that we might not be aware of that are just going through a a very difficult time Lord God we just lift them up to you and we pray Lord that they would not lose heart that they would not despair Lord in these times Lord um, encourage them Lord strengthen them in you that you would be their guiding light their shining star that they could look to that you could be their stronghold and their refuge and their comfort at this time Lord God we just pray this in the mighty name of Jesus and everyone said amen God bless you guys you, you have a good day today, and we'll see you again tomorrow.